Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habitu fillah from those important ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which show us the importance of working on our heart and why this is an important uh, aspect of the usul of Ahl sunnah is rectifying themselves is rectifying the heart. Rectifying the heart. Because if we re rectify our hearts, our deeds will follow. And that goes back to what we said prior, which is having ikhlas lillah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, being sincere in our worship of Allah Azza wa Jal, and that we follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, that we follow the sunnah in our worship, in our acts of worship to Allah Azza wa Jal. And that if our heart, if we work on our heart as Islam teaches us zuhud, you know, teaches us asceticism, uh, teaches us, you know, to lot, not place excessive love or excessive importance to this worldly life, you know, by taking the dunya into your heart, as the Prophet Sallallahu said, a dunya sijinu mu'min jannat al-kafir. That the dunya, this life, is the prison of the believer. And it is the... It is the... Jannah or paradise of the disbeliever So the believer should not be excessive in Craving the delights of this dunya. That doesn't mean we don't we leave the dunya in totality as some of the people claim But rather the believer tries to keep their heart void of craving and loving the dunya the worldly life, you know craving wealth letting wealth enter into your heart it doesn't mean you can't have a business plan. That doesn't mean you can't, uh, you know, strive. But rather, that you don't take those things into the heart. And since the Madar al Amal is the Niya, the place. Or, or, you know, for how you get your deeds uh, accepted and their place or the intention is going to determine the reward or punishment that these, this intention, this is in the heart. So, going back to the importance of the heart we have to place emphasis upon issues of the heart and worship. Tawakkul, you know, relying on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And tawassul, seeking to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with deeds and, and, and righteous actions and just all kind of things that are going to move our heart in the right direction. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in authentic hadith, he said, Innafi jizid, Innafi jizid mudratan, Ida salahat salaha jizid kullu, Wa ida fasadat fasadat jizid kullu, Ala wa hiya qalb. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that verily, in the heart is a morsel of flesh. And if, uh, verily in the, the, the body there's a morsel of flesh. 
And if it is sound, meaning that morsel of flesh, then the whole body is sound. And if it is sick, then the whole body is sick. Allah wa hiya qalb. Verily, it's the heart. So the Prophet, alayhi salatu wa salam, let us know that if our hearts are sound, the rest of our deeds will be sound. Meaning, so the person who has a sick heart, that's the one who is going to be doing deeds which will in fact make them sicker. So for example, the one who watches pornography, that, that's a sign they are sick. They have a sickness. They have weaky man. And that sickness is a sickness of the heart. And they are doing deeds that will only enhance their sickness. They won't make them healthier. And the the one who suffers from miserliness, for example, being greedy or stingy or hasid, you know, that they are jealous of others and want their netma, their blessings to be taken away, then these people are also sick. They suffer a sickness. They suffer a sickness of the heart. So in the heart, in the body, there is a morsel of flesh. And if it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. If it's sick, the whole body is sick. Really, it's the heart. So, striving through ibadah to clean the heart and through your intention to clean the heart and through actions of obedience to Allah. This will help you to clean and purify your heart. It's like a cycle. Because Ahl Sunnah believes from the Nusus that Al Iman Yazid bi ta'a wa yanqus bi ma'asiyah that iman faith and increases with obedience to Allah and it decreases with ma'asiyatillah so then you see how it's a cycle it's actually can be a vicious cycle when you get involved in sin and you keep sinning it becomes a vicious cycle of sin and where it keeps depleting your good deeds and it keeps it keeps you in sin and keeps driving you into more and more sin likewise one way that you begin to remedy that that sickness is by doing good deeds so once you begin to do those good deeds those good deeds they they begin to help heal the heart because as they begin to heal the heart and you're doing good deeds it's increasing your iman and the more your iman increases the more you're able to battle off your other sin and your hawa, your desires. So the one who's afflicted with homosexuality, the one who's afflicted with pornography, the one who's afflicted with stealing from people, the one who's afflicted, afflicted from lying, that this is a time for them to reflect. And this is a way to deal with those things. That's why it's so important to do as many good deeds as possible because the desires are harder to battle. It's easier to do some minor good deeds than it is to leave off some of those sins. And the reward is immense and that's why it's more important to leave off the sins. But both are important and they create a cycle. 
So avoiding sin, fighting sin, fighting your desires, and doing good deeds are imperative for the believer to win the battle against their desires and to clean their heart and clean their deeds. And if it jizzed mufga, barely in the body there's a morsel of flesh, and if it's clean, the whole body is clean. That means your deeds will be clean because you'll be doing righteous acts. And if it's sick, then the whole body is sick. And that's the heart. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Bless us with ilm and nafi, raskan tayyib wa amalan mutaqabbilan. To forgive us of our many, many sins. And help us to go forward and be better slaves of His. And protect us from kufr, shirk, and nifaq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.